Shall we cross the street and go up towards the, the palace? Sounds like a great plan, yeah. Now, I've been mastering the art of uh, dodging buses. How's it going for you? Have there been any near misses? I mean, yeah, there actually have been a few, a few scary moments. Because Italian drivers, they really, um, they really don't hold back. Well, watch out. Jeez. We're about to get oh, rivaled by a street sweeper. <laughs> Could have been a very short interview. Every time I come to the city, it's like a completely different experience. And this has been just extraordinary, actually. Um, to wander the streets and marvel at the history and the architecture and just the sheer scale of the place. It's, um, it's just mind-blowing. Actually, my favorite thing about Rome is the feeling that I, that I have when I'm here. There's something different about this place. You just can't help but get a sense of the, um, the history and a, a, a sense of the grandeur of civilization. It's, it's insane. So we're standing right next to the Quirinale Palace, which is the largest palace in all of Italy and the home of the Italian president. And uh, we got to play in here. Probably one of the most memorable concert venues I've played in in my entire life, actually. So this um, palace was built in the 1500s as the second I believe it was the second residence of the Pope. And the room that we played in was actually used, once used, to elect the new Pope. There we are. That's the entrance. The uh, security is next level. It was an inc unbelievable experience. Last night we were at the Australian um, Ambassador's residence and we played uh, a lovely concert. It was really nice. And then tonight we're playing at the residence of the Australian Ambassador to the Holy See. So we're um, making some wonderful friendships and relationships and, you know, in one of our favorite countries. <laughs> we love coming to Italy. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even feel like winter. So what are the benefits of, of, of touring internationally with the ASP? Well, apart from seeing the world, which is a great privilege, we're so lucky, and it gives us perspective. You know, we're so far removed geographically in Australia, and it's, it's nice to be able to come to Europe and experience the history and the tradition of culture that they have here. It's just remarkable. But it's also very much an opportunity for us to bring Australia to the world. Um, because I think a lot of people in Europe and North America have no idea what, what, what goes on musically in Australia. I think it's just a, a wonderful um, responsibility that we have to show everyone what it is to be an Australian musician. And I mean, that's uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a huge responsibility, but one that I think we, we're very proud of. We take it really, really seriously. One of the, the highlights of this trip has been to, to have Lou Bennett and Paul Stanhope join the ASQ family. Uh, they've both worked together very closely with the ASQ um, on writing a new work that, uh, called Nilamum, which uh, tells a, a wonderful story. To bring Lou's First Nations language um, together with Western classical music uh, has been um, one of the greatest learning experiences of, of my career. It's a powerful, powerful testament to the beauty of, sort of building bridges and sharing, sharing musical language. The poignancy of the story and the power of, of the music and the, and, the, and the power of Lou's singing and the emotion that uh, she brings to this music. Yeah, it's a, it's a very moving work and I uh, just feel so 
so privileged to have been a part of a part of bringing it to life. So uh, yeah, we gave the world premiere in Amsterdam and then performed performed it again here in this palace. It's a very galvanizing experience to go on tour. Uh, it brings us closer together. It um, challenges us. You know, we have to we have to give each other our space, um, but also support each other um, to be there for each other. Um, you know, in in some very big moments, it makes us better musicians, but also makes us makes our relationships stronger. We, we, we draw energy and strength and spirit from each other. But it's also good to return home. You know, there's nothing like going home, back to Australia, with a greater perspective on the world. Thanks, Dale. Yeah. Probably. It's all right? Yeah.